this, and you can be sure they'll be watching in those towns and, of course, all across the country. People are planning some early get-togethers to root on Team USA. Go USA. Go USA. Go USA. We got it. We're fired up. We believe. All right, coming up in our second hour of GMA here, our GMA cover story, actress Mina Savari opening up with her ongoing struggles about postpartum depression. Next week, Kate Winslet is here live. I love it. Naomi Osaka live. Plus, Catherine Zeta-Jones, her and the Backstreet Boys, live on GMA. Dallas Reigns, Eyewitness News, weeknights. Now at five, screams of terror as a coyote snatches a baby in front of a local home. The terrifying ordeal caught on camera. A trucker takes a tumble on slick SoCal roads in Santa Clarita. I'm tracking the latest storms that are headed our way. Plus, the pressure is on for the U.S. men's national soccer team as it prepares to take on the Netherlands today in the knockout round of the World Cup. We are live at the official watch party. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tony Cabrera. Mark Cotarobles has the morning off. And I'm Irene Cruz. And Tony, your Trojans had kind of a rough day yesterday. And you put on the jacket, but earlier you were dressed in all black. All and black. I was wondering if that was intentional this morning. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I am uh, I'm frustrated more than sad. Yeah. I'm mad more than sad. Um, it was quite the season, mm -hmm. but it, it's, um, it was a, a bad loss. Bad loss. Well, I'm sorry. Thank and you. I hope we can make today a better day. Gosh, yes, we will. We will. And let's start with the weather because it's going to be nicer than it was yesterday. It'll be a little bit warmer than it was yesterday because we're watching that plume of moisture that's just moving towards the central coast and into the central valley. Uh, there are a few kind of showers that are lingering in Southern California in Ventura County, but you can see that as we zoom in on the live mega Doppler. Just a few dots there on the map. There are nothing major. We did get uh, some rain overnight, but nothing. Uh, Nothing to write home about. As we can see today, later in the afternoon, we'll get some sunshine peeking through. These clouds are a lot thinner. That's going to allow our temperatures to come on up. And then you can see overnight going into tomorrow, a little bit more rain makes a return. But uh, nothing, again, too significant compared to what they're getting up in the Central Coast and the Central Valley. But we will track the weather. We'll have more updates with your 70 forecast. And Irene, there's even more chances of rain coming next week. Okay, sounds good, Tony. Thank you. New this morning, authorities are investigating a police shooting at a house party in Anaheim. It all started around 1030 last night. Anaheim police were responding to a shots fired call at a party. When they arrived, police say they got into some sort of altercation with an 18 year old suspect and they shot him. He was taken to the hospital and is currently in stable condition. Police are still trying to determine if anybody was hurt from the original shooting call. No officers were injured. A frightening wildlife encounter are captured on video in Woodland Hills after a coyote attacks a young girl and tries to drag her away. Go, go. Unbelievable. Moments before yesterday's attack, doorbell footage here showed the coyote sneaking up on the child with her father nearby. The animal then tried to drag the screaming child away by her leg before her father rescued her. The video shows the man chasing the coyote away as he carries his daughter to safety. My goodness. She apparently suffered minor injuries. Fish and wildlife officials are handling the case. It's unknown if the coyote was captured. Oof, scary video right there. Well, a warning to drivers this morning, making a slippery commute after a box truck loses control and falls on top of several vehicles. Yikes, this happened in slick, wet conditions yesterday morning, right where the 5 and 14 freeways meet in Santa Clarita. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell has the details. A 
stunning crash during rush hour. Video capturing a big rig falling over the side of a freeway ramp, landing on the wreckage of a semi and another vehicle. I, I was hoping, you know, nobody was in that passenger vehicle because um, that's where it almost fell directly on top. The accident involving a semi and a vehicle happened.